Thomas's busy day. It was a busy night on the island of Sodor, and Thomas was trying hard to be a really useful engine. Thomas's job was to deliver coal to all the station waiting rooms. He didn't want the passengers to get cold. Thomas knew he had a very important job to do and worked hard all night, steaming quickly along the tracks and through the icy countryside. When Thomas's work was finally done, he chuffed slowly into the engine sheds, looking tired. I'm all puffed out, Thomas said. I wish I'd had some help today. Pah! huffed Gordon. A really useful engine doesn't need help. Thomas was cross. He wanted to show Gordon that he was a really useful engine too. Just then, the fat controller arrived at the sheds. I need an engine to run three specials for me, he said. I can do it, puffed Thomas. He was tired, but he knew this was his chance to prove to Gordon that he was a really useful engine. Very well, Thomas, said the fat controller. You must take some chickens to the market, the sheep to the farm, and the children to school. That's a very big job for a small engine, whistled Gordon. You're bound to need some help. Tank engines don't need help, Thomas snapped. We're really useful. And off he puffed. Thomas pulled Annie and Clarabelle and some empty trucks through the countryside. Chickens to market, sheep to farm, children to school, he peeped. Thomas's first job was to collect the chickens. When he arrived, the chickens were huddled together on the track side of the orchard. The farmhands put the chickens into one of the trucks, and off Thomas chugged towards the valley to collect the sheep. The shepherd was waiting for Thomas, and the sheep were lined up next to the gate. Come on, peeped Thomas to the sheep. I'll take you to the farm. The sheep were soon loaded into the next empty truck, and off Thomas chuffed to pick up the school children. The platform at Marron Station was filled with school children. Thomas trundled into the station with a truck full of chickens and a truck full of sheep, and Annie and Clarabelle. He was very tired. His axles ached and his pistons were pounding. But the children's smiling faces made him feel happy. They climbed on board and he puffed away. Thomas puffed up Gordon's Hill, past the windmill, and through Henry's Tunnel. It was a very long way to pull such a heavy load. Chickens to market, sheep to farm, children to school, Thomas remembered. The junction signal was red, and Percy was waiting there too. Thomas ground to a halt beside Percy. His axles were aching. Percy could see how tired Thomas looked, and he was worried about his friend. You look puffed out, said Percy. Would you like some help? No, thank you, said Thomas. Really useful engines don't need help. And he chuffed slowly away. By the time Thomas reached the station at the market, he was very muddled. So muddled that he asked his foreman to unload the sheep instead of the chickens. Whilst the sheep were being unloaded, Emily arrived. She too could see that Thomas was tired. Would you like some help? Emily asked. No, thank you, puffed Thomas. Really useful engines don't need help. But Thomas did need help. He was worn out. Once the sheep were unloaded, Thomas puffed away. Thomas continued puffing through the countryside. Sheep to market, children to farm, chickens to school, he yawned sleepily. When he reached Farmer McCall's, he told the children it was their stop. So, the children got off at Farmer McCall's, 
and an exhausted Thomas puffed slowly away. When he reached the school station, only the chickens were left, so the chickens were unloaded. Meanwhile, the fat controller was sitting in his office. He was getting lots of phone calls. He took a call from the farmer's market. The sheep Thomas had unloaded had caused chaos. They had knocked over all the stalls, and the fruit and vegetables were everywhere. He took a call from Farmer McCall. The children Thomas had delivered to the farm were covered in straw and surrounded by pigs. And finally he took a call from the headmaster of the school, who had a classroom full of chickens. Thomas had finally finished. Edward, Percy and Gordon saw how tired he was as he slowly chuffed into the shed. Thomas was looking forward to having a nice long sleep. Just as he was about to close his eyes, the fat controller arrived. Thomas, you have caused confusion and delay, he said. The fat controller explained what had happened. Thomas was very upset. He was very tired, and now he had to do his jobs all over again. Don't worry, Thomas, reassured the fat controller. All you need is some help. But Gordon said that a really useful engine never needs help, peeped Thomas. Pa! laughed Edward. I'm always helping Gordon up the hill. Gordon looked very embarrassed. Percy and Edward, you will help Thomas, said the fat controller. So Percy took the sheep from the market back to the farm. Edward took the chickens from the school to the market. And Thomas collected the children from the farm. I'm sorry, Thomas puffed. I didn't mean to take you to the wrong station. We don't mind, said the children. And they didn't. They'd had a grand day out, seeing the animals and learning all about the farm. That night, when Thomas finally got to sleep, he dreamt all about sheep and chickens and children. <laughs>